I was a classical ballet dancer. After I retired from dancing professionally, I studied cognitive science at the University of Pennsylvania. And while learning about neurodegenerative movement disorders, I also learned about this program called Dance for PD that trains professional dancers to teach specialized dance classes to people with Parkinson's. So we started the project a year and a half ago. We were interested in designing a long-term dance program for people with Parkinson's and we wanted to compare them with other older adults. I, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in September 2009. I had to take early retirement from work. Um, I did admin work and it uh, affected my whole right side. Being able to come out of uni and go straight into a volunteering opportunity where it's on a weekly basis and you're getting to know the same people every week and you're able to see them gradually getting better and better. Different techniques that we would do, you'd see people gradually pushing themselves a little bit more each week and trying more challenging motifs. The impact that Parkinson's has had in my life, the loss of mobility and the need to keep pushing myself to retain the mobility. It's the physical aspects of it which have affected me far more than the, the mental ones or the psychological ones. So today was a bit of a revelation because suddenly I started to feel the way I'd felt back in the autumn and that the mobility was beginning to reappear and the flexibility was certainly a great deal more pronounced than it had been in these last six or seven weeks. Parkinson's disease, they all have different symptoms, which I was totally unaware of. They each had a different story. They each came to Parkinson's at a different age. I actually liked interacting with them, finding out about the person, that Parkinson's didn't define them. A lot of unseen things, the stiffness, the joints, and the anxiety and stuff it brings. People don't realise how medicated you can be to as normal as possible day. They're always saying how well you're looking, but it's how well you feel inside sometimes isn't showing that either. It can affect your eyesight, it can affect your speech, it can affect your hearing. Anywhere that requires some sort of muscle work can be affected by it. I'm not one for a great deal of exercise, so to have a dance class once a week is, is good for me. I would see that people seemed to be walking better sometimes when moving to music and their stiffness was alleviated after the classes. It takes me back to my admin work. It made me feel useful again and uh, it gave me the opportunity to use the skills that I haven't been able to use since I, I retired. It kind of gave me a new lease of life being involved in it. A gentle a exercise and music and movement is good for the morale. It reminds me of children's parties, various problems that Parkinson's creates in terms of a tendency to gar up and make yourself small and, and the dance helps you to be expansive and to throw your arms about and take big steps and be more aware of what you need to do to combat directly the symptoms, particularly to do with movement. I noticed when people were concentrating on a particular movement that wasn't involved in their hands that their tre tremor actually seemed to improve. So if they had to concentrate on their footwork, the, the hand tremor seemed to, to get better. I do notice them becoming better dancers, essentially. I hope that this is also leading to improved mobility in other aspects of their life. After a series of classes, I would say my balance has definitely improved. I think actually my general outlook just has, has improved. It gives you, gives you a good feeling. I'd be very keen to, to keep going. I take other forms of exercise and um, obviously the condition is progressive. So and one is getting older, so there are other factors at play. And it's not hard to, it's hard to tell exactly what the long-term effects of the dance might be on my condition, but it's early days yet. This project is very different because this project has impact from the beginning. So the local community of people with Parkinson's helped us design the project. They knew what the benefit would be for them. 
the dance classes that are part of our research also have impact in the community because people with Parkinson's are engaging with the classes and we see that they are happier when they do the classes, they engage uh, socially and also they improve their motor uh, performance uh, as we've seen in some of our uh, uh, preliminary findings. So the impact is happening as the research is running, not after the research.